Oh, the good chat is still up. Uh -huh. All right. You say something that you shouldn't say. This was funny yesterday. Yes, it was. Good, sir. You shouldn't have. Said. Get in. The fuck? You need a ride? Nah, I'm good, thank you. Alright. The fuck? Get in. What the fuck? The fuck was that? Yesterday Among Us was literally playing in soon. Oh, uh, I don't know. I don't know if they were joking about actually playing it again or not. But it was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Confused POV was the funniest. Fuck you, buddy. I totally knew what I was doing, okay? Suck my balls. You killed cycles in your posture front of us. Yeah, that was that was a total accident though, you know what I'm saying? Uh, good morning chat happy wednesday is it a wednesday yeah happy wednesday happy may the 4th guys may the 4th be with you guys man Woo. Woo, may the 4th be with everybody Hoggers. 
augers. New excuse that she saw it today. I missed it. I don't know. Let's check. You're a Toronto man. My first time you're streaming. I'm a Tommy TV mostly. Yes, sir. I am a Toronto man. Oh my God. Nancy went crazy. Holy shit. Hold to evade and it's Jesus. <coughs> Well, you guys got to remember, a lot of that is, uh, is, uh, money back for materials, right? 400k of that is going straight to Pablo. But it's still nice to see it all, not gonna lie. We were in a meeting this morning to discuss last night events. What event? Thanks for delivery, okay. Thanks, baby. Yeah, she could be talking about uh, the Eve shit. She could be talking about the, uh, obviously, the, the wingsuit events. I mean, it could literally be anything. Watching Last King last night because of you. So luckily, the spoiler that I read on Google, like I told you guys by accident, was actually fake. So that made me really happy. That season was amazing. Why doesn't I drive this other car so we can see me better? I don't know how my cars are impound. See me better is far away from everything. today uh cassie texted me but nobody's here hello lang hey cassie what's your uh text regarding um about the uh, event last night the wingsuit event 
Oh, the wingsuit shit? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm down to meet up uh, whenever. Okay. Okay, hell yeah. Um, And then I was going to, I think Nancy's around as well. So I was going to just kind of let you guys know like what had happened, because like the sales, all that stuff. Uh, I'm just grabbing food really, really quick. So I need like three minutes. Um, And then I think everyone should be around then. So yeah. Just all right. Sounds good. I'll see you soon. Okay. Right, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, Dean. Good morning. Morning, morning. How are you? I'm doing good. How you doing? Pretty good. Just chilling. Uh, what is uh, what are you up to today? Uh, I'm just in the business center right now. She said she's gonna call people see if they need to have a meeting or anything, but I haven't had anything else. All right, I'll swing by. All right. Still got the suit on, looking good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you doing, Dean? I'm good. Good, just chilling. Uh, you know is uh, Leslie doing? Harry around? Uh, Leslie emailed me, said he could be around in about an hour or two. All right, hell yeah. Uh, I haven't heard from Harry. Let me give him a call. All right, I don't think he's around. We up to this morning. Uh, I hung out with Jaeger some. Uh, did a bit of drifting. That's about it. Oh, is the drifting uh, shit open now? No, I just bought Mary's car. Oh hell yeah, okay. But uh, I don't think anyone's really been around. So I haven't had any phone calls. Well, you know how it goes. Uh, usually, uh, two days out of the week now, everyone's around. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, just talking about Jaeger. He was uh, talking about how I think, um, I think he said something like everyone's taking a couple of days before they decide to go into war or whatever. So. That's what oh, I mean. over the Manum shit? Yeah. Really? Well, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, wingsuit sales are going really fucking good right now. How much are you selling for? Uh, 30k. People buying them up? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's 900k in the account. Damn, okay. A lot of that is towards material. I mean, we don't we don't make that much profit. It costs us like 22,250 to make it, so. Yeah, I mean, but, you know, if people are using them, that's good. Yeah, I know. It's really good. I got to make a lot of them today and uh, give them to Nancy to ship them out. Oh, by the Man. way, uh, Mickey quit okay. last night, but uh, I think it's better. Uh, we just move forward without Wait, him. What? You're going? Yeah. Oh, well, you just straight up quit? Yeah, so uh, yesterday at the wingsuit event, he said he was going to fly there and bring all the bottles. And I told him just to drive. Cause we, you know, we're doing a, an event in the fucking sky. I didn't want it to, you know, get, not get ruined, but you know, give no hints, uh, 
shit like that. You know, keep the skies cleared. He showed up in a helicopter, didn't listen. I texted him. I said, you know, this is a problem. You know, uh, it's just a lack of listening to, to simple shit, blah, blah, blah. Uh, he didn't respond. Uh, I run into him at the casino. I try to confront him about it. He kind of just ignored me and like walked away as I followed him and, you know, try to call his name. He just didn't listen. Listen, fucking, I ain't dealing with this shit. Went to go do all the other shit. He then called me like after an hour and I should have asked him. I'm like, oh, so why do you want to talk all of a sudden? You know, earlier I'm trying to have a conversation with you. didn't want to talk. And I just ended up quitting. I think it's for the better, honestly. Yeah, it's. That, that's the thing about Mickey. It doesn't matter what you tell him. He's going to do whatever he wants. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, oh, it's not a big deal. But yeah, I mean, it's I not guess, a big uh, deal. I, I love Mickey with all my heart. But when it comes to business, I don't, I don't think he's capable of working with in, in the system that we've created, you know? Right. I guess it's just not a style. Doesn't know what it's like to have a boss or whatever. Yeah. That's exactly. I mean, I told him. Uh, what did I say? Said I told him that I'm his boss, and uh, he said, uh, "Well, as my boss, think you need to respect me more." And I said, uh, "You know, I'll do what I want. I'm your boss." And he said, "Okay, I quit." <laughs> I think he forgets this is like a heroin operation. You know, this isn't. You know, we're not a corporate fucking company. Like, this is. It's so strange as well. Because it feels it feels like he would. Act she enjoys selling the wine, you know, so. Oh, he I don't know definitely why he enjoys sabotages it. sabotages himself so much. Yeah, I don't know. But I, I honestly think it's for the better. I, I, I could have seen a lot of issues that, uh, you know, would divide us. So it's better he just does his own thing. I do my own thing. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. Hey, Cassie. Okay, yeah, we'll be there. I'm out. Uh, I guess he's in the meeting room. Good morning. Hey, Nancy. Hello. Oh, sorry, Nancy. Oh, uh, is it a you guys meeting or a me meeting as well? No, no, you, you, yeah, it's you. Okay. How's your morning going? It's okay. going good. Good. How you doing? Uh, great. I was up until 1.30 this morning selling wingsuits. Yeah, I saw the accounts. Looking good, looking good. Thank you. Hello. 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 Okay, so this shouldn't be uh, too long of a meeting, honestly. Uh, I just wanted to... Is Harry around, by the way? I, I called Harry mostly. I didn't... Uh, I don't think so, no. Okay. Okay, so basically the event last night, uh, we earned $785,000. $785,000. And uh, the only... Hey, show up in a helicopter part. Let's be honest. Lime was the mean boss. The boss is the employees. That's not how business is done in IRL. And, you just want to treat employees like that in IRL. This game, you part of Helly far away from hotel. Uh, the night right? star stolen. Mm -hmm. We are selling heroin. Yeah, but I, I think it... it and Pablo as well. Oh, yeah, and then Pablo. What did Pablo want again for his, I don't know if uh, you know that. Uh, he didn't ask for anything, but, like, obviously we're going to pay him. So I'm going to try to figure out a fee with you, Cassie, that we're both comfy with. Because he did a great job and did a lot of that stuff oh, on the did fly. So it was, it was perfect great. for that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just uh, if you guys had any concerns about the event and uh, moving forward, when we do more events, like what you guys want to see more of, what you guys liked about yesterday kind of thing, just kind of uh, seeing your guys' take on the event yesterday. The event was good, but remember, too much ACDC. We can't have, like, 17 artists perform five songs each. You know, two artists, yep. two songs each, boom, we're good. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I think right. everything uh, went really well, to be honest. Really well. Good. Hell yeah. Um, 
Yeah, but I'll, I'll make sure that we take care of all the payment stuff. So then that's all done. And then you guys don't have to worry about it. But uh, overall, I think very successful. We made a lot of money from it. And uh, yeah. And then I know we did the pre-sale stuff. So Nance, I want to just kind of uh, find out how that went. Uh, it went very well. I sold, I have 36 or 34 on the interest list. 26 of them have already been paid for and are ready like for delivery today. I just need the wingsuit. Um, but I went to like all of CG and they were like, all of us want one. I went to the angels, the angels bought some, uh, the PD bought a bunch um, and then a couple people here and there, there, there's like a couple of civs who were like, I want one for fun. And I was like, okay, fair enough. And then a lot of it was bigger groups. And so there's a good balance of like a couple people who are like, I want to have a good time. And a couple of people who are like, I'm going to do dumb shit with this, but I'm trying to not know about their dumb shit. Yeah. That's kind of our target audience uh, for both. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's perfect. But we had a lot of people who were just like, yep, charge me right now. Totally fine. I just got confirmation. Actually, I can't see the bank account, but Bundy paid for six for the LSPD. Toretti should have paid for seven for the SDSO. And then I just need to go around and get a couple payments from people who were like not awake, but had pre-orders ready to go. And then we should be set. All right. Hell yeah. But I think, I think that was like, 990,000 just in wingsuit Ooh. sales yesterday. Damn. Yep. Yeah. So I don't know if there's like a maximum, like I need some more information on these so I can sell them more effectively. Um, and also I need to know how to use them. So when I drop them off, I can train people on how to use them. But um, right. what do you need to know? Uh, how long the battery in them lasts, if they're not being used physically, like the controls on the side of the wingsuit, how to use them, um, height that people should be jumping off, um, uh, or definitely descending one of, from. Uh... Honestly, I'm not going to lie. It'd be funny if they just figured it out themselves, because if they fuck it yeah. up, it means they're going to buy more, if I'm being real. Uh, I see the, the merit in that, but at just the same time, then it to... just planes and helicopters and if they want to jump off a building that's on there okay i see but i do see the merit in that line but at the same time then it just comes back on me and people call me a scammer and it doesn't go super well i don't think anyone's gonna call you a scammer i mean the wingsuit works yeah it's like a parachute wings. you know what would be crazy um what if we just went on like a family field trip and i don't know maybe nancy and i try them just to, you know, feel them, titanium, the little noise it makes when it goes, initializing. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's whatever. Maybe it's a dumb idea. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know. We can definitely try them, yeah. But it, I think it'd be funny if people just don't know how it works and then they spend more money figuring it out. Right. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Just tell them to, you know, use it for planes and helis, and if they decide to jump off a building, you know, let them figure it out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, what's the um the battery life on it? If it's just sitting? It should be good till you just use it. Yeah, it's probably um, a couple the, weeks. I was going to say, the ones that I have from yesterday, the battery has already diminished a little bit. Maybe a couple of weeks or a month, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh. Okay, question on that. Um, so they did the pre-orders. When are people actually going to get them? Um, and then it's like the day of distribution. Uh, we're probably going to start uh, yeah, distrib distributing uh, today. We'll go around. Oh, hell yeah. And uh, once you jump out of a plane or something, you know, just activate it, press the button, or, you know, kind of like use it. You know what I mean? And then uh, the rest of it you can just figure out. It's pretty easy. Does that make sense? Uh, sort of. I think I'll understand it more if I'm able to try it. Yeah, it's literally very simple. You put it in your tool belt, you use it in the air, you fly. Mm -hmm. You left click the handle for the parachute. Okay, so the built in parachute. Are there any sort of boosters in it? Or like. Uh, they should have left one boost, I think. Okay. Yeah. And will that give you additional height or speed or distance? Just, yeah, propels you upwards. Okay. And 
and uh, yes, yeah, I mean it's pretty much it's pretty straightforward to use. I think more, most people will be confused on how to use them, especially if they've been in the city for a while. I might uh, purchase one to test it. Okay, they're out today. All right, you don't have to buy. You just have uh, one. You don't need to yeah. buy one, but that's right. okay. But yeah, that's all I had personally. But that's so the cool ones that... you saw I was using yesterday, um, they're a bit Those... different. Like you know. Once, once they've used their one, you know, it's, they'll take it off their back and you know, be, be done, so. Yeah, one time then, use, uh, one time use. Mm-hmm. Our ones had a bit more boost to them as well, so. But yeah, the, the ones that you get should, should have the one boost, so. Okay. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, it's, like I said, it's very straightforward. Very straightforward. Okay. Do we want to just um... go up in the air and just... Just try them now, and so they can sure. see it. Or do we have I'm other down. stuff we need to talk about? And I we can do. I just have to go down. Uh, we have to just go down to uh, the spot and just make a first thing. But uh, yeah, pretty much it. I'll double check the actual amount that I have needed for prepaid deliveries right now, and then are you able to make more that I'd be able to pick up throughout the day to sell to people? Uh, I think we just make them based on orders because uh, I just don't want them lying around and then they just go bad and we lose a lot of money because they're expensive to make. Mm -hmm. Whenever but I have mean, an order, we just make for, it. Right? Yeah, yeah. If it's already been ordered, we'll make it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okie doke. Am I able to get um, access to view the Cerberus Industries bank account so I can see if somebody does a large transfer over? Because at this point, I'm just kind of trusting that, like, it's already. It. I don't know. Uh, you own a day. Oh, yeah. Okay, I have a question. When you guys first used him, did you fail the first time? No, no, we're experts. Oh, okay. You guys have never um, forgot, like, the parachuter. Nope. Oh, okay. I was just curious. I just, uh, you know. Um, and then just, uh, I guess, personal stuff, uh, since we're pretty much over this meeting, is uh, uh, today I'm not feeling the best, so um, Nance, I'll be around to help you with uh, the wingsuit stuff tomorrow. I think uh, it's okay. I'm just going to be around for this meeting, and then I'm going to... Uh, you don't want to come today. up for a quick jump and then... I don't. Yeah, I'll do. No, I'll do a quick jump. I'm down for All that. Right. I just wanted to let you guys know in case you guys wanted to call me later today or something. Well, I hope okay. you feel better, Cassie. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. No problem. Uh, let okay. me just total up the amount that I need because I think the amount that I gave you on the phone last night is not correct. Like... Yeah. <coughs> That's actually sick though, how many people wanted to buy it? Just like, just give you cash right there. That's so cool. I yeah. think 32, 32 is the amount that have been paid for. That is a big fucking chunk. It's a lot. Um, like for example, I said LSPD bought six, SDSO bought seven, all of CG bought one, uh, Claire from the Angels bought four. Don't miss it. Chill out, buddy. A couple of cops bought them just independently of their departments. Um, what did I say? Thirty-four. It's actually thirty-five. I lied to you. So yeah, is that is that going to be um, possible? For today? Uh, 35. Yep. 35. Whoo. Yep. And that's just the ones that have been paid for. I have a bunch of other ones that like haven't been paid for yet, but are on the interest list. So we might need some spares made throughout the day. Uh, I'll make the 35. And then, uh, like I said, we just, I'll just make them based on orders. Yeah. So if we get orders perfect. for more, then I'll make more. Yep. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's go so, test these uh, uh, wingsuits. Okay. okay, guys. I'm going to get changed, so I'm not doing this in a skirt. Uh, we'll just meet you guys at the airport, all right? Okay. 
LSIA or Airx? Uh, the airport. Uh, since you get mine from the casino. All right. I'll just find the hell. Yeah, I don't need to use the wingsuit. I'm fine. Just got to go make them, though, at the uh, spot real quick, too. Yeah, you're right, actually. We can just take them up. Fuck okay. it. First of all, I think Nancy has it. Um. What was that? I was just making a noise out the car. Oh my god, I just run that poor lady over. It didn't look like it's me, but maybe. Car still feels a little weird, Dean. It's strange because it felt okay to me, and then I just realized you took such a long, big turn. So I wonder what's happening to it. Yeah. Huh. Hey, check out all the materials I got. <clears throat> That's so many. Yeah. Would be nothing without you tell him lying? Hell yeah. It'd be nothing without me, Dean. That's all I'm gonna say. Yep. Right. Could grab a Cerberus heli, I suppose. Ah, uh, yeah, we can do that.
Who's the glue of server? Oh god. Ah. Why did I reach that? <coughs> oh, good. What the hell is that? What was that? Yeah, you bust out your pants. What was that? None of your business, boys. None of your business. How about that? You, fair enough. Why don't fair we sell it to Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. The fucking BSKs guys will pocket wipe us the fucking blink of an eye. <laughs> you didn't hear about the drama with them? No. Huh? They think we're a gang who's actively hunting them. Who is? BSK. Yeah, but who's the gang? Cermorace. Oh, Jesus Christ. They're still yeah. telling us right now. Why are we standing still? Because I was watching see if they're telling us. They are looked to our right. Wait, who said that? Uh, OTT. It's a long story. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I was supposed to actually see yesterday. It seemed fine. Uh, well, that's good. The fuck they pulling you over for? Then pull it over for me. Dispatch five 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 ten thirty eight. Uh, East Power Street, a vehicle occupied one times, a uh, black <laughs> Bentley. Uh, oh, these cadets are so stupid. <laughs> uh, it's occupied two times, and this ain't a Bentley, you dumb motherfucker. Is it occupied two times? Well, thank you for that. It ain't a Bentley, it's sir. It's occupied two times. All right. It's got a fake plate on it. Fuck. It's not a Bentley, sir. Not tell him it's a Bentley. Just yeah, you know, I'm not really a car guy, sir. What kind of car is it? Uh, it's a Bentley. That's what I said. Yeah. Okay. How's it going today, gentlemen? Can I get your license registration, please, sir? Sorry, I can't hear you over that. Uh, for yeah, what, sir? Me either. Hey, guys, get your license, please, sir. For, for what, what, sir? Well, I'm pulling you over, sir. It's a traffic stop. Can I get your license, please? What did I do uh, for, what, are we, what, did he, what traffic did he violate, sir? Uh, failure, failure to uh, stop to a traffic control signal, sir. Uh, that was a green light, sir. Okay. Opposite lane travel was uh, red both ways. Those lights are synced up. So if uh, one's red, was, the other's uh, red. It was a green, sir. I don't think okay, you well, go ahead and give me your license there. You guys can fight this in court if you want to. Uh, okay. Well, call the judge. Let's go to court. Okay. That's not how it works, sir. You give me your license now. I'll give you a sight. You can fight it in court later on your own time. Or you could. Oh, no. Let's fight it on your time, time sir. Because you clearly don't know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, go ahead and give me your license, sir. Go ahead and uh, call the judge, sir. We're not giving you our license. We did nothing wrong. Okay, you realize you're required to give me my, your license whenever I stop to do a traffic stop. You realize you don't, you don't know what the is. fuck you're doing, right? I mean, I'm not a car guy. I'm more of a horse guy. You know what I mean? I don't know what that means, like but I do know that you don't know how to do your job. All right, sir. I'm going to ask you one more time. Let me get your ID, please. Hey, sir, I'm going to ask you one more time to call the judge app. And uh, let's get this bench trial going. All right, hang tight. Hang tight, sir. Is it red? I thought it was green. Oh, no, it was definitely green. Okay, so this car's very close to 
not being drivable. Fake plate. Just show the license, Dean. You you kept saying no. Yeah, I'm just fucking with them. It's my hard time. So I found my license. Is that right? Did you find it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want a traffic ticket though. Hey, you know what, sir? You're quite free to go, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. Hey, that's my fucking boy Dudley right there, baby. That's the fucking boy right there, baby. <laughs> what did he even do? Did I miss it? I don't know. I just kind of pulled it to our car. Hey, sorry. We were just in a traffic stop. We're on our way now. All right. Okay. I was definitely ready for a cool wing scoot, uh, suit escape. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I was thinking that. It's like, oh, we do have the wingsuit. The only thing is, we didn't have a car that could drive fast. Yeah. But we could have just come up to the top of this building and jump. Oh, man, how's it going? Oh, my God! This helicopter is so shit. Ow. Cassie, why did you have to say that? It's like you land it, and then it loses balance. It always goes to the side, dude. I don't get it, man. It's like it's impossible to balance the heli on its gear. It's like it's flat fucking ground, dude. Well, I guess we wait half an hour for uh, the hospital now.
<laughs> this song. <laughs> Sorry, I. That's a lonely day. So, Chad, how was everybody's week going, man? Hello. In. Anyone? Is there an ambulance coming? I don't know. This is not Cassie's fault, honestly. How is this my fault? Why would you stand there? I haven't been Yeah, like, why would you stand there, Cassie? Today. Like, this is Clearly, we was gonna park there. Yeah, like, you... I was landing there, and then I saw you standing there, and I tried to get out of the way. Like, it's actually your fault. Sorry, play me. The worst day ever. It's your fault, Cassie. <laughs> and you say Let's fly, let's fly Let's fly, fly away I think I'm, I think I might it's your fault, Cassie. And then, uh, you know, this is your fault, Cassie. Is the EMS coming? I'm fucking taking the helicopter. I don't got patience no. for this shit. EMS, they're coming. They're coming. Are they actually coming? Yeah, Cassie? I think so. Yeah. I hear the sirens in the distance. Definitely too embarrassed to watch the clip. I love it. Bro, do you know what my stream is? Wait, I don't know if they're coming. Alright, I'll see you guys in the hospital. Uh... Guys, if you have fun, it'll get pocket wiped. Oh, your pockets you do this every time you're a one yourself stop yelling and backseating oh, hello, and being hello, a fucking hello. moron fucking hey what's up doctor jesus christ it's bloody what's his name not jack sparrow um to what? infinity and beyond that guy what's his name Buzz what the fuck are you talking about sir Buzz Lightyear. the backpack oh yeah 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 uh how are we doing today sir all good doing all right sir how you doing my man how yeah. you doing you Ah, oh, too bad, too bad. Just, uh... How the fuck you mix up Jack Sparrow with Buzz Lightyear? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm having a stroke. Um, let's see. Right, let me just rewire a bit of this. Hang on. Um, does this take regular or unleaded, this thing? Uh, what was that? Does this thing take regular or unleaded gas, or does it take ethanol? 
Uh, sir, it's a backpack, sir. Uh, yeah, but what kind of gas does it run on? Topping it up for you. Huh? What kind of gas does it run on? It don't run on gas, sir. It's gas. Okay. Okay, dokes. Right. Um, that's looking good. You got a little bit of burns on the back of your back of your uh, posterior from the like the jet exhaust. But you might want to get like a plastic or metal. Sir, it's like, a shooting. backpack, sir. It's a backpack. Oh, it's not a real like. It's not a real jetpack. No. It's not a real jetpack. Sir, it's a backpack, sir. God damn. Why can't anyone just have real jetpacks? Oh. Well, thanks for the help, sir. I appreciate it. No worries. Have a nice day. Fucking Jack Sparrow was like, how the fuck you fucked that up, sir? Mine, mine's Maeve. I used to be a doctor a long time ago. Your name is Maeve? Yeah. Marley. Marley. When the sun goes down, where am I going? This way. Uh, an evening in Roma. see back to the airport guys fuck those tellies man they're trash the frogger is so much better It looks cool. It definitely looks fancy. <sighs> definitely does look fancier. Under my skin. Deep in the heart of me. Under my skin. The fourth be with you, Mr. Lang. May the fourth be with Wait, is the new Star Wars show out today? <coughs> Just the trailer? Oh, okay. Launches end of May. Cool. I got you under my skin. And that's why, guys, I take the local EMS, man. I ain't trying to weigh on the ground for half an hour. Ow.
I mean, you basically ocean dumped yourself. Uh, people who think they know the rules are funny people, man. Don't you know? The superior helicopter. Under my skin. Do you get terrorism for going to the hospital? We're about to find out. Beyond the scene. Oh yeah, we could just escape in the wingsuit, that is true. Beyond the shore. Oh my god, don't tell me it's actually coming over here. Just as before. All right, chat, I'm going to pee. I drank way too much tea while we wait for them. <clears throat>
Okay, I'm back. Guys, how long has it been since we've gone to jail? The 38 mile incident, how long ago was that though? I feel like that was like a while ago now, no? It's been out so right in the Bro, this is why I didn't wait. <laughs> oh, shot. They're still down, bro. Hello? Hey, I'm at the hospital roof. Hospital roof. All right, we'll be there. All right, bye-bye. That's nice. What's going on, Dean? Hey, Lang. Hey, Dean. Just a little action, no big deal. What? Just a little action, no big deal. Shit happens. Yeah. Oh, the plane. <laughs> Alright, check the glove box, ladies. Don't look at my hair. Cassie, I'm gonna go to the glove box first, okay? Okay. Okay, there you go. Uh. Look at that, just in time for the, uh, just in time for the sunset. Alright, fly How from here to the airport. Try, try to get back to the minivan. How do you activate the boost on this? Uh, you space. Okay. Okay. In the rain. Hey, do you guys know if I can throw a firework from this helicopter? Don't be dumb, oh, Cassie. Okay. I don't want to find out, I guess. I don't know. I just thought it'd be pretty for the whole city to be like, wow. We were doing fireworks on the casino and the cops thought it was a bomb. Bomb party? That's right. Okay. Right it was. <laughs> Alright, ladies, ready? Uh, Damn. Christ. Wow, it works, guys! We're so use it. That actually looks sick. That does look sick. All right, guys, uh, go whenever you're ready. Use it while we're falling? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Cassie. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck, guys. All right. One. Go for the two, airport. Three. Go to the airport. She's gone. She's gone. Oh. Okay, and Cassie's I can't see them. Dead. Is Cassie dead? Yeah, I think Cassie died. The fireworks really didn't help. Yeah. Cassie on the way to the airport? I don't see you either. Then. Yeah, we just followed the fireworks. <laughs> and Cassie's still shooting. Wait, wait, is she moving? I 
think she's moving. Oh, they stopped. Oh, no, 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 no. She must be moving with the fireworks. What the fuck? Right? I don't know. He definitely dead. More than likely. What happened to Nancy? I didn't. I lost her really quickly. Yeah, I couldn't see her through the fireworks. All right, we just go to the airport, I guess, and hope they made it. Along the byway. More that I can chew. What's up, mate? Lang, when you have a moment, uh, I'd like to meet with you. Mickey, I can't keep doing this song and dance every single day, Mickey. I know. I really, I really can't. I know. You are the one who quit. I didn't fire you. But if you're down to hear me out, I'd love to uh, chat with you. All right, I'll give it a call in a bit. I'm kind of busy right now, but as soon as I'm free, I'll, call, I'll give it a call. Okay. Goodbye. All right, bye-bye. Um, so this is not good. Okay, story. I think they're both dead. Fuck. I'll call Nancy. I'm giving Nancy a call. You can't see. All right. Well, we've got any more business we wanting to take care of? Uh, I mean, it's like a couple of things. Nothing really too big. Why? Don't tell me you're going to bed already, Dean. No, I'm just, you know, what we're going to do is stand here and wait. Oh, fuck. No, we're not. All right, do we try to look for them? I don't know where they would be. Uh, we we're, we're like what near? I don't I don't really want to be. The only way we yeah, it literally we told him to go to the airport, right? So it's got to be between there and the airport. But how much ground? Can we have I to didn't cover? see Cassie like move at all, for sure. But I and I lost track of Nancy because of the fireworks. I don't even know if it worked for her either. Uh, hello. Hey, Mr. Lang, this is Dick Dudley. The fuck you want, Dudley? Um, he sent me to prison, by the way. I didn't do shit. The fuck you talking about, bitch? I didn't do shit to you, motherfucker. No, no, no. I, you know, I, um, I helped you, like, because you were pulled over by the side. Yeah, yeah, I noticed, yeah. I don't know why yeah. he did that, but, uh, thank you, I guess. He chased, he chased me and sent me to prison for one month. So I've got to run all the way back down the, 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 the freeway. Damn, sorry to hear that. Yeah, one thousand eight hundred and seventy-five dollars you owe me, okay? I don't owe you shit, motherfucker. My, five, five points on my license. And I don't owe you, know you shit, Dudley. I the other day. That's two thousand seven hundred dollars as well, and I still got eight thousand fucking materials that you didn't buy. Well, you have eight thousand. Well, yeah, you said. Wait, what do you got? I get materials. Oh, well, now you're not poor. Now you want to fuck with me, do you? <laughs> All right, Dudley, go fuck yourself. Yeah, fine. Fuck you, too. Yeah, fuck you, Dudley, bitch. No, fuck you back. Fuck you three times in the face. 
<laughs> I feel like uh, we were like over here somewhere, right? I think we were a bit further north, yeah. Like maybe above the highway or something? Thing is, I saw fireworks over by the PV over there, so I'm not. Yeah, where was the last spot we saw the fireworks? I think kind of over by the highway between the hotel over there, but. It's hard to remember. Like here, right? Pretty much along here, yeah. But this building is kind of sick, actually. Yeah, that's the one here to our left. I like the design on it. Mm -hmm. And the lights. It was really good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know what the fuck we do. We're not going to find them. Yeah. I guess what we hope, like a local calls it in, or? If I go check the airport one more time, maybe they just took for uh, either on their sweet time getting there. I mean, they probably would have called us by now, right? Yeah, you're right. I don't know. What do we do here, then? Yeah, let's just check it, and then... Wait, where's our car? Oh, look at this. Look at this right here. Ambulance. Oh, this is where Cassie's at. Oh. Or actually, it could be Nancy, too, because Cassie fell straight down, right? Cassie was really close to the ground. If, if her wingsuit popped off, it was really close. To... Oh, there's Cassie in yellow. Right? Oh, there's Cassie. All right. The Found event. one. Found one. Yeah, I don't know where I don't know where Nancy would be. Okay, I guess we just wait for them to call us. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah. Where's my Range Rover? So I guess Cassie flew a little bit. Remember, we did see the fireworks. They were like, kind of, you know, moving in that direction. So. Yeah. Away from me. Yeah, maybe we should do um, do a, a training course for like five grand or something as extra to sell to people. Ooh, that's not a bad idea, actually. Talk to Air X and sell them a bunch, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Spanish. Oh, I gotta get some gas. So Mickey Collie probably regrets regrets uh, quitting already. Really? Yeah. See, that doesn't seem like Mickey. I mean, I, I know like he was going to call off. I'll be honest. Okay.
Hello, boy. What's Hello. up, Kratos? How you doing, baby? Well, I bought myself a new vehicle. And I think you might like it. Specifically, Mickey. But, anyway, stay tidy. Motherfucker, I'm refueling my own shit, Kratos. Every time I come in, you guys refuse to refill my car. And all of a sudden, you want to do a bitch? Boy, I am never here when you are here. That's and I choose exactly to do it. the problem, Kratos. You got no fucking employees. Where's Martin at? Not That's not way. where the fuel goes, son. You don't put it through the window. Oh, it's, I it's think fine. He's trying to blow your vehicle up. Yeah, I saw this on YouTube. How to get cheap uh, gas? You know how to get more for your for your, your dollar. More bang for oh, your Mr. buck. Buddha. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for choosing X Mart, man. Would Gotta you like go. to see the new vehicle, boy? Yeah, sure. What is it? That's they, I do it. Oh, hell yeah. I need you to do me a favor, lad. Uh, not much. You want to okay. get out of the vehicle? All right. Just call when you're done then. Okay. Stand right in front of one of the taillights. Stand in front of the taillights? One of them. Okay. Dean, you can do this as well. That's right. Right in front of one of the taillights. Now on three, I want you to get on my vehicle. Are you ready? I get on ready. top of it? Yes. Okay. One, two, three. Ah! <coughs> Wait, do that again. I want to stand on top of it. It does not work out that well. Try it again. Try it again. You know what you should do is you should sell this with a wingsuit. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Right, count down to three and do it. One, two, three. <coughs> there used to be a car back in the day that would fucking launch you to space. Amazing. I told you sick, how much of that how much of that cost you, Kratos? How much did that cost you? Three hundred thousand. What what uh what class is it? A B. And it is only stock right now. I mean yeah, scam, motherfucker. Jesus. Three hundred thousand for a B? Jesus. Hey, Fiona. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, no worries. Bye bye. Right on. Picking up Leslie somewhere? Uh, he's just in a quick PDM meeting, then he'll call us. What about Randy Salt MK2 for 700k? Jesus. Oh, is Speedy around? I've been wanting to talk to him. Watch out, Lang. Oh, What's God. going on, Lang? What's going on, Leslie? How you doing, baby? I'm gonna have to move. I'm gonna have to move the car. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's going on, Mr. Lang? What's going on, ben Benny? Okay, I forgot his name and I feel bad. Benny? Ooh, I want sure one when you get right in. now, Max. Just sell me one right now. Make sure when you get in and you flex. Ooh, uh, you know what you do for mind. the. Yeah, yeah. Max, you know sell me one right now, on? Max. What was that? You know, you know the hard top you use. You know the yeah. underneath oh, there. Yeah, do that. Yeah, out. see, the thing comes out. Max, sell me one right now. Come on, let's get this sale over with. <laughs> Talk to Leslie. All right, Leslie, <laughs> get one for me. Get one for you. Get one for Dean. Let's buy it. Come on. There's only two. All right, one for me. One for you. Come on. You can change the uh, color you, of this, by the way, do. from black to uh, like. What do you mean you'll see what color? we can do? Who else is gonna drive this car, Leslie? 
Yeah, I mean, you're right, but um, we'll see what we can do. All right. No, no, it actually food. looks way better than I thought. Way better than the right. photos. I'm it's kind of like... So we'll All right, enjoy. Wait, did, you the, did you get the Wraith? Did you get the Wraith, Leslie? Yeah, we... Uh, no, we have the Rolls Royce Col Colonel, I think. Uh, the one that Francis showed us. Oh, the shit no, it's, SUV? It's, yeah, it's this one and the Colonel. I, I definitely want to get one of these. I'm going to check with the importers because obviously these are very exclusive. I'm going to sell my SRT and buy this. Yeah, I, I want to get my Range um, Rover to Max. To Max? Which Max? Oh, and it's Security yeah. Max. Yeah, fair enough. Um, I'll see if I can sell the other one to you or if... Uh, yeah, it's hey, Dean, where are you special. at? Hey, make it cream. Make it cream. Cream? Where you at, Dean? I'm on the freeway oh. where the VU is. You're on the freeway where the VU is? How did you get there? That's where I popped. You can come get him. Oh, your head popped. I didn't even realize. We'll come pick yeah, you up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just meet in front of the VU. We'll come grab you there. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. Fish? I think black looks better. Black on black on this. Yeah, no. Cream doesn't look good on this one. Why not? Look at this. Is it the blue pearlescent? Or the pearlescent? I think, okay, I'm going to do something crazy. I'm going to do something crazy here. Okay. Matte Ooh, black. No. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's we're about to do some fucking nice. drive-bys and make million-dollar deals. You know what I'm saying? This is fucking... Yeah, this Get rid of the blue nice. pearlescent, though. It's ruining it. Oh, I didn't realize it had it. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm definitely buying one of these. I'm going to have to talk to the importers. It's a bit of a special import, so I'm going to see if they would be okay with it. But if they're okay with it, then I have no problem selling one to you. How much are these going to go for? Uh, it's about, it's a bit more than three million. A bit more than what? And three million? You're full of shit. There's no shot you're selling this for three million. Uh, it is uh, 3.8 million before tax. That's it. What is wrong with you? That's the price. The colon is six million. What? Yeah. All right, all right. Okay, this looks sexy in black. It's so nice. The back is kind of eh. I like looking at it from no, the I front. No, I don't. Though. I don't agree. I think the black looks really nice too. This is a perfect so? sedan. Yeah, it's a perfect sedan. Five seater, six seater, four seater. I don't know. Uh, check if there's five seat. I don't, I don't think know. So. I check that. Uh, seat four. Hey, Nancy, you're alive. Uh, yeah, I'm a lot to sleep in the hospital. Okay. Oh, it is five seats, Nancy. All right, hell yeah. How'd you like it? Uh, it was super, super fun. Really great. Uh, until I went splat on the tarmac at LSIA because my parachute was so fast. Well, you gotta, you gotta make sure you, uh, you know, hold the parachute back. Yeah, that's the thing is I didn't, uh, I didn't realize how fast I was going in the wingsuit. And uh, I was probably only like five feet above the ground or something, but I just noticed I face planted right into it. So hey, I'm that's good now. I'm the hospital. All right, uh, Cassie, okay too? You guys good? No, she also went to the hospital. Jesus, come but on, guys. She, she, I know. Uh, she went to bed, so. All right, I'm going to get those wingsuits made. I'll give you a call in bed and, uh, and um, we'll meet up so we can, uh, you know, I can give them to you. Okay, sounds good. Because, uh, yeah, I have, I know CG is like itching for theirs because I think they're doing something big today, so. Oh, all right. I'll, uh, I'll get them done. Uh, I'll probably call you within the hour. Okay, sounds good. All right, Nancy. Good shit. All Keep right. Bye, Lang. Bye-bye. Hey, um, I'm at the vanilla I love uniform. the front. The side is sexy. The back kind of throws uh, me off a little bit. Yeah. Damn. Okay. Yeah, okay. Nice. Yeah. That's not bad. Not bad. Yeah, it's nice. It's not too bad. I don't know if it's worth $3.8 million, but... I'm definitely paying 3.8 for this. Are you kidding me? It's, no, it's you're not. Like I know you're fucking lying. I'm not lying. I'm, I'm being real. You don't even have $3.8 million. No, I don't, but I'm going to have to sell my SRT and take a loan. Jesus. Yeah. It's not bad, How are you though. broke, it's Leslie? not bad. Uh, because uh, I don't... I don't like take that much money. Like, I always stay at around a million. I don't need uh, more money, yes. to be honest. The Cerberus way, staying poor. I just, I just don't need money, to be honest. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of in the city a little bit if, if we want to catch up on something. And, um, I've already been around for a long time, but I'm, I'm like, unofficially around now, so. Uh, I don't really know if there's much to catch up on, really. Let's, uh, All right. Dean? Um. Well, get to that thing, Lang. What thing? 
that thing. My thing. All right, let's do the thing. I don't know what the thing is, but let's do it. It's marmalade. Marmalade. I can run to marmalade. Oh my guys, is the grow house ready? Please tell me it's ready. Please tell me it's ready. I don't think we should do marmalade. Oh. <laughs> What's the thing then? Uh, uh, I just want my marmalade to be ready, man. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna wait till 4.0 at this point, man. Uh, yeah, we can do that, I guess. Or do marmalade? I don't know if uh, I don't know how to say this, but maybe Leslie wants his eyes over for that, though. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we can Probably. do it tomorrow. Honestly. We can do marmalade yeah. tomorrow. Oh, it's not marmalade, but uh, I definitely think you'd want your eyes over for it. All right, we'll do it tomorrow then. Yeah, okay. Hey, what's up, right? Oh my God, Buddha, what's up, baby? How you doing? You can't not much. What's going on? Not much. Just want to say hello. I, All right. I, I called you a few so times the last uh, few weeks, but I think you were always busy. But Fred, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How you been, right? I'm good, man. I've been taking care of myself. Take care of the boys, and uh, I actually had a proposition for you and the uh, other members of Cerberus. If you guys don't mind uh, listening up, uh, you you, uh, you got to call Cassie instead of a meeting for that, right? That's not how this works. Okay. That's no one worries. of my. If you call no Cassie, worries. you set a meeting. We have meeting. Yeah. No worries. Ca Cassie, is it? Oh God, I really hope that's not the one I'm partying with right now. Um. Uh, what is this regarding? By the way, it's uh, esports team. Yeah, okay. Uh yes. yeah. Call Cassie. Set up the meeting. And then okay. she'll uh, she'll arrange it. We'll have a sit down. All right, fantastic. What are you up to right now, brother? You got anything uh, anything interesting going on? You wanna chill? Uh, I'm down to chill a little bit. I'm just taking care of some business. Uh, I think I'm being pulled over. Oh, if you need help with that, I can help with that. No, no, no. We're all good. We're all good. Oh, you're good. But uh, yeah, I'm down to chill a bit. I'll give you a call when I'm free. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, Buddha. Take it easy, baby. All right, Did you not up. sleep? Or you've been awake all night again? Um. Yeah. Yeah. But I. I Jesus. Didn't, uh, Ray. I've only had my eyes open for like six hours, so it's not like a. It hasn't been like a tiring day, if that makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. Uh, I'll call you in a bit when I'm free, all right? Yeah, let me know, buddy. Take this. I will I'll do. Be, uh, I'll be right. I'll be around. Bye-bye. I'll be too bad. <laughs> hey, Leslie, let me drive this for the day, Leslie. No. I'm going to take right? it for a test drive. I'm going to take it for a test drive at least then. Okay, yeah, man. We can do that. Fucking asshole. 3.8 million, Lang. Uh, before Dean. I feel like you're trolling, but I also feel like you wouldn't troll about this, so I don't know what to think anymore. Hey, Kevin! Kevin! I can send you the, the, the picture of the price if you want. Right. Ooh, the turning is okay. interesting. It's obviously S plus then, right? S V? Yeah, yeah, I believe this is S plus, yeah. Right. The more I drive it, the more I'm appreciating the back of the car. Listen, this is $3.8 million on wheels. Be careful. Yeah, the turning is very, uh, it's almost like too, too much turning. Where are you right now? Yeah, but it's a heavy car. Uh, we'll come to you. We'll come to you. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Mary needs some business advice about oil. You guys want to go and talk to her real quick? Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah. You want to take this car? You want to go around the rover? Is business we need to do or no? Uh, don't think so. Oh, right. marmalade again. I'm probably uh, going for this car and uh, talk then and on. All right. So the event yesterday, I think it was uh, all things considered a pretty success. Oh, we sold yeah. like 900k in wingsuits in the night, so. Yeah, but wingsuits sell themselves. We could have literally like, we could have, yeah, we could have had wrong. an event in the dock and they still would have sold. Hold on, Max. Okay. Uh, it's pretty inactive. Why? What do you guys think of the car, Chad? You guys like it? I don't know if it's, I don't know if I would pay three point eight million dollars for that car, but yeah.
Where are we meeting her, Dean? Dean? Uh, it's very difficult for me to say. It's more like, uh, you can try texting me like every other day, and if I'm around, I'll respond. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Yeah. Weeny. All right. Talk to you later. Good, good job last day on the event. All right. See ya. Hey. We had Tim texted me. He, uh, he said that he could help us uh, prop up a uh, class act, uh, class action trademark infringement case for Cerberus 2. Oh, perfect. Let's do that. Yeah, all right. Oh, also, uh, Mickey quit Hero Wine last night and then called me about an hour ago. Wait, 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 hold on. He quit? I thought we fired him. No, so I unsuspended him on, Why? Uh, because we needed to make sales and uh, nobody was around and I was sick and tired of trying to run everything myself and Mickey was. And then he started doing really, really good. But, uh, okay, he, wait, hold on. Just. Isn't, wasn't the core issue that he doesn't take it seriously and we have like a big mumbling operation and that's why we were scared yeah. of having him involved? So why does sales matter then? That's just money. No, 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 listen. Uh, we had a long talk. I decided to give him another chance. And then yesterday, uh, he was coming to the event to sell wine. I texted him. Uh, well, he said he was going to fly there. And I said, don't fly here. You know, it's a vent, you know, based on us being in the sky. I want the sky is clear, essentially. Uh, didn't listen showed up in a helicopter. I saw the helicopter parked in the uh, horse race tracks, right? So I texted him, you know, like th this is like the problem. It's like just simple listening skills that you lack for whatever reason I uh, didn't respond so I caught him uh, at the casino after the event and I confronted him about it and uh, he was just ignoring me and walking away uh, I didn't say a single word as I kept calling after him uh, About an hour later. He called me wanted to talk about business stuff and then I asked him, you know, why, why all of a sudden you want to have a conversation now when I was trying to speak to you earlier? You know, you straight up ignored me, blah, 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 blah. Uh, pretty much, uh, I, laid the, I laid the pipe down. I said, I'm his boss and he's got to listen. And then he said, uh, okay, then I quit. Okay. And then he called me this morning wanting to talk about it. And he probably regrets it and wants to get rehired, but I don't think I'm going to rehire him. Okay, but here's the thing, Lang. Okay, why I'm going to have... Huh? Where are we meeting Oil Mary, Dean? Oil fields. Oil fields? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have a speed run intervention with you here, Lang. You and Mickey, your relationship, it's like uh, it's like you're going back to an ex abusive significant other. We, 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 we've made it clear that, that Mickey... I mean, you're unless, not wrong, unless, Leslie, but, but you got to understand, too, like, you know, I'm not trying to be a dick. Okay? No, I get it. I, I, I get say it, this you, without I, being a dick at all, but I, I was heavily relying, you know, on uh, you and Harry to help out a lot, and nobody was around, and I really need to start, start to get shit moving, and Mickey was. So I decided, fuck it, I'm going to uh, suspend him so I can get shit moving. Okay, I mean, I will say regarding that, just, you need to, if you need help with something, literally just tell me what you need me to do. I'm not saying it's your fault, but if you do that, I will help you with whatever you need. Yeah, but it's one of those things where, uh, like, listen, uh, I don't care uh, if you guys want to be around. Trust me, I get it, but, uh, you know, I don't, I rely on the people who are around me. And uh, I don't like to, you know, nag people to, to be around if they don't want to be around, you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's not, it's not nagging. But I, I get what you're saying. Um, my point is, I feel like you wanted to work so much with Mickey and you keep going back. But the problem is, if you're doing that, then you're ignoring the core reason as to why it's, it's, it's problematic to have him around. Oh, no, trust me. At, I get, at, I get why, it's, uh, it's, why it's problematic. I know, I know the issues with Mickey. I mean, if you want my honest opinion, I, I didn't think this was going to work uh, from the minute he became an intern. But I figured, no. fuck it, you know, give him some time, see if he uh, adjusts and uh, finds his place. But it just never really worked. And then yesterday, I just... When he was just straight up ignoring me, thinking that was okay to, to respond that way. Whether he's right or wrong, you know, if I'm trying to have a conversation with you regarding a business like this, you know. Uh, if I can't rely on you to have a conversation now, like, how can I rely on you when things are tense, cops are on our ass, and we got marmalade out the wazoo we got to push, you know what I mean? Right. But uh, I just yeah. feel like, uh, depending on the day, Mickey's just very, he can be very different people, and that can be concerning for me. You know, I'm not oh, even sure it's on, I agree. The, on the day. I think it's just literally how how you treat him versus how he wants to be treated. And he is so his his vision of how he wants to be treated is so fucked up. 
that uh, you can never really satisfy him. Well, it's why you can't do business with friends, right? Because he looks at me as like Lang the friend when we do business, but like I'm a completely different person when we're doing business. Completely different. On your left, uh, pumps there on the left. On the left, yeah. I think so. Yeah, left again. Like pretty on near the road left. And then left again. Not right here. I need some light over here. There we go. Welcome. Hey, Mary. Hello. Hi, guys. Greetings. How you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm going crazy from listening to these fucking pumps, man. Yeah, I can see that. Get your phone. Uh, it doesn't dry now. Listen, you hear that noise, right? You hear how piercing it is. Yeah, yeah. You basically have to be blasting music so loud that you're going to get hearing damage. Oh, my God. Now I realize the noise you're talking about, and it's really pissing me the fuck it. off. Yeah, I hear yeah, it. Yeah, it gets worse if you get closer, too. We're far away, so you don't really hear it. But if you get next to it, it actually probably could go Next to, like, damage. the pump? Yeah. Yeah, come here. Listen to this. Why? Why? <laughs> yeah. It's Why? Possible, oh, my God. It's so bad. Yeah, I don't like coming by my pump too often because of that. You came up with the idea of having Mary had Power a Marlowe turn to wine. We're business people. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. You were so yeah. stupid. Nice first one. Listen, I get you're a big fan, but just relax, man. You know what they're doing. So basically, um, I don't know if you guys have been paying too much attention to the oil game. How much how much do you guys know about it and what's going on? I know exactly you know zero percent. Nothing? Leslie probably knows the most. Yeah, probably. Okay. Alright, well let me describe to you my problem then, right? Okay. Basically, uh, I have absolutely no issues producing oil, right? I can get materials for it. I can run the pumps. I have no issues producing like 30,000 gallons a day, which is which is fine. Right? It takes a lot of effort. I can do that. I can make the oil. The problem is a lot of these gas stations just aren't buying because a lot of them are, are poorly managed. Um, but a lot of them are also just, just not buying and they're staying empty. Um, or even worse, they're buying from these smaller producers who are selling for like four three dollars per gallon and basically making no money for the time and effort and i'm struggling to find a way to move the gasoline that i do have because i have close to eighty thousand gallons of it and i'm trying to figure Fuck. out the best way forward because i had a couple of ideas one of them was dropping the price of gasoline down to about one and a half dollars per gallon and pricing everyone out of the market but i'll be honest with you I feel like I'd rather have more people's eyes on that idea before I actually push it. You know it, because I don't so know. So is your goal just that. to get rid of this eighty gallons as soon as possible? Or? No, my goal is to get rid of these producers who are selling uh, at like three dollars per gallon because mm. they don't really value their time. You know, because the, the issue is there's enough mm. these little guys where they'll make five thousand gallons every day or so. And because they don't really care too much about the money. I've spoken with some of them. They think that by selling at $3 per gallon, they're building relationships for future business, right? Which, as you all know, is fucking stupid because they're not, they're not going to double their prices and maintain those relationships. They're just going to go find someone else to get that from. So they're basically taking advantage of these poor idiots that don't know anything about, um, about what they're doing. And then they're just selling the gas for a shit ton of money on top. So I need to get rid of these guys. Yeah, but uh, that's just what I was saying. I mean, I've been kind of preaching this since day one, since oil became a thing. That it's, it's an oversaturated market. There's too many suppliers and not enough buyers. And when that happens, you have a buying, buying control of market. So we get to decide who gets to stay, essentially. Yeah, exactly. Um, now, I went pretty early on and I signed exclusive contracts with people so that I knew that they were, I was going to rely on them to supply my oil. And anybody who didn't get a contract, I think, will end up being, being shafted. But if you force down the market, you're forcing down your future market, which will fuck yourself long term anyways. That's fine. I think I'm happy to take down the market entirely. All right. Well, I mean, then you're just going to lose money for as long as you want to lose money, no? Well, I mean, it's not really losing money if you're breaking even. No, right. If you're breaking even, you can do that. Fair enough. Well, if you value your time, it's losing money. Mm -hmm. Listen, I have nothing else to do, okay, guys? I spent all my day just sitting at the tuna shop hoping someone could give me some stupid fucking life story about how much they wanted a car <laughs> they're going to complain to me about for the next six months. Repeat times 200, okay? I have really nothing to do all day but sit here 
and pump oil and make people's lives miserable. But I think, uh, I mean, Otto's just buying for like six, I think. Yeah, the issue is it's really hard to get a hold of uh, managers because they never contact you. They usually just happen to be there and they'll just pick up some gallons here and there, you know. Yeah, but when Mila's in the city, she's always at Otto's, literally all the time. Mm -hmm. So oh, how much uh, there, how much gas does the gas station go through in a day? It's quite a lot. Yeah, I don't know the numbers and how much they use, honestly. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly, but it is quite a lot. I know that we always stay stocked. Yeah, it could be probably like 20,000 every 24 hours or more. I don't know how to solve your issue. I think uh, this problem would have been solvable from the start, but now when you're in this position, I, I, I believe it's quite difficult to solve I, I don't really know what the solution would be hmm. it's an oversaturated market that's that's kind of the starting problem it is but i'm more than happy to throw my money around and try and fix that issue a little bit i just don't know exactly how to go about doing it hmm. i mean have you tried like uh working exclusively with a gas station that can like uh you know guarantee the purchase of all your gas or yeah the problem is i keep getting blown off so it Every single gas station I've had in, in, individual issues with. Little Soul is just managed by Vinny, who is around haphazardly, so it empties itself out quite often. Um, autos, I, I always just get told, you know, we'll talk later. Uh, the GG gas station, they'll call me up and order gas, and then as soon as I deliver it, they'll tell me they bought it for someone else, and so I'm stuck there with a bunch of products. Um, basically, every single one of them is giving me the runarounds. It's really pissing mm. me off. I've heard this from other people as well. They have like pretty much the same problem. Hmm. Yeah, in fact, the only business I've gotten is from the unknowns gas stations where Ron Oil will pay me to go and stock them up like Polito and the one near the MDM block. Hmm. Fuck. I mean, How many people can... actually own pumps? Is it a fuck ton? I don't think um, there's that many. There's actually quite a few. Uh, the issue, the issue really just comes in that there's just enough of them that own them that are willing to sell for super low. That's really fucking everyone out, you know. Is there like a way to like make your gas better so people actually want to buy it? I uh, I wish. What what I was hoping is I was stockpiling a bunch of crude oil in the hopes that maybe I'd be able to get higher octane fuels in the future. Um, and I'm also just refining gasoline to have it. I'm happy to sit on this for a very long time. Right? This isn't like something I need to move on now, but I just want to have some idea of where to go forward, you know? Because there's a lot of directions I could go. Well, since you've got so much, it seems to me it'd be better to make deals with gas station. I know, like you said, you're getting a run around, but if mm -hmm. you just try to pincer the market, these gas stations can still choose not to buy from you, right? Mm hmm. So it's definitely going to be better to try and find a deal somewhere. And then if you're still overproducing, then uh, maybe you just need to make make more deals with uh, more gas stations, right? I mean, yeah. or, if, or if, like you said, with the octane, because I noticed on my pumps, it specified the type of fuel. So maybe maybe you need to engineer it more, figure out like a better version of the fuel or something. And then you have like a... I don't think the equipment's refined enough for that at the moment. All right. I yeah. think, I think uh, the equipment isn't able to produce higher octanes. I wish I could. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of. I'm starting to get real happy and never invest in this oil shit. It sounds like a shit show. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not that bad. It's just kind of annoying because you have to deal with a bunch of people who just are stupid, basically. Yeah, yeah it seems to me how it goes, honestly. I think yeah. trying to smother the competition is not going to work in this market, I guess, because there's got so little options to sell. Mm hmm. But, I mean, we can get you in the door at Autos and, and the X-Mart and see if you can get get a deal to sell there um, for sure. But even that might not be enough for all the gas you got. Uh, I mean, listen, I think I produce enough to keep uh, Autos, X-Mart, and Little Soul constantly stocked 24-7. Right, but obviously it'd be silly for the gas stations just to have one supplier, you know? Yeah, it would be. You don't want to put all your eggs in one basket. I mean, talk to Mila. Like I said, at this time, she should be around. If she isn't, she comes around a bit later. Mm -hmm. uh, she's always in autos, literally all the time. When she isn't in the city, that is. Yeah, I got you. 
Mm, I don't think. Yeah, I, I wish I could help you, Mary, but I, I really don't know much about this shit. If I'm being honest, I don't. I don't really got much advice to give. I mean, I know a lot about Thanks. it. I just don't know the solution to this problem, to be honest. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm stuck at too. Is I just don't know how to go for it. And... I mean, start planting drugs. All these guys who have pumps. Uh, get them charters, and we'll get them taken away. <laughs> Yeah, Back I've already suckers. gotten a few people's punks taken away, actually. Well, see, that's a good they tactic. Were, they, were, they were competing with me, and they talk shit. And so I got their uh, I got their pumps taken away by the judges. Hell yeah. Nice. Because they're fucking assholes. They There's a lot of assholes in business, but you also have to be one to survive. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. That works. Absolutely. But right, I, I cool. really well, got to pee. I'm going to hop in the car. I guess for now, then I'll be... I got to pee, chat. We're back. There was definitely a uh, follow up with all those in SR. So make sure you drop our name to you know, get, hit, get that conversation with these guys. Yeah, Cassie runs the SR. I fucking said it from the start. I said it from the start. I was right. Yes, I was right. I thought we were saying it. I've been saying it. I've been saying it a lot. No, I don't I've think been... you've ever. No, said I've been saying it. I've been saying it all the time. I think this is one of them things that you think you said, but you didn't. Literally, there was like the first thing I said. I was. I said immediately that these people that are getting into oil are getting into an oversaturated market where there's no bias but there's only sellers and they're gonna fuck themselves they don't control the market i do don't you think i would have remembered that if you said that no because you choose to forget about everything that i'm right about which is most of the time which is also why you're so forgetful nah i was i, I i'm just saying i was i was right i i called it Just oversaturation. When everybody can do something, there's no reason to do it. Speedy, hola. Oh, Speedy. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh, we did like a survey. Hmm. All right. Are you around tomorrow? After the storm? All right. Well, I think Leslie is around tomorrow after the storm as well. So we'll do it uh, straight then. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. oh, okay. All right. Alright, you did bye bye. Uh Speedy wants another business meeting tomorrow. All right, yeah, let's go. Oh hell no. Yeah. I wanna call him actually, I wanna see how he's been. You drop me off at the town, I'm gonna go to sleep. Sound good, Leslie. Hola. Hey, um, hey, speedy speedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you been, my friend? Up, my friend? Uh you know, I've been Gucci, I've been like uh, Trying to figure out, you know, how to fucking like, you know, figure the shit in the life out. Not like life out, but you get what I'm saying? Like how to figure out the, the, you know, the T1 and stuff. But, uh, so what's going on with that? Any updates or what? Well, the update is, uh, I got raided. I got shit on. Uh, I just got the raid received last night. There's nothing on it. Literally didn't find nothing. Closed my ranch for, uh, you know, days. And I think it's still closed. And, uh, you know, I snaked my vein into you know t1 all right last night because right. the ranch was open like they didn't close it anymore so i guess they just said fuck it 
and I fucking put on different clothes and, you know, I crawl in and motherfucker, like, it's still there, bro. Like, they haven't touched it or anything. So I think they're trying to, like, bait me to go down there. You get me? That would make sense, yeah. You wanna you wanna meet up and chill, or what do you want to? Uh, well, I just rolled up the smoky smoke. You gonna be around for a while? I'll be around for a like, little bit if you want. You know, I'll be no, down go like smoke and call me when you're around. Do some stupid shit today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm down. I just can't, like Murphy said, don't blow up cops, but everything else is pretty fine. All right, Basically, sounds I can good. do crime not with my own weapon, you know? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Exactly. All right, come on when you're back around then. I, I'm back in 20. I'll see you then, my friend. All right? All right, bye -bye. Love you, speedy. Bye bye. You too. Bye bye. What are you gonna so say, I was thinking. I was thinking for tomorrow, uh, I was thinking regarding Hero Line, I, I, I think I mentioned to you guys, I tasked Alex uh, like a couple of days ago mm -hmm. to do a full cost analysis of, of the operation, and he's yeah. done that. So he has all the costs already done. So I, tomorrow maybe we can meet up with him and take a look at, at the pricing and costs and stuff like yeah. that for break even. Uh, and figure uh, that yeah. out. All right. And yeah, I'm sure we, good. Can, we have some other stuff to to uh, figure out as well. But I'll, I'll be around from from tsunami and going forward tomorrow. Oh wait, wait, Leslie, can you be two more minutes? Yeah. All right, quick, let's go to the club. All right. We also got to figure out this marmalade shit, boys. I I think it's to time. I think we're ready. Huh? The marmalade? Yeah. Yeah, but we have to uh, fix the church first. Well, that's what I'm saying. We we got to figure out how we're gonna do it. We got to acquire the church. We got to do all this shit, right? Yeah. Probably do some more Googling, maybe a little bit of gardening. Yeah. We need to, who can we get to actually, you know, make a church inside there? Um, well, I have a devoted follower to Kaching. Uh, you know, the guy with the three-wheeler? Uh, what's his name? Can he do furniture? Uh, I, I think his life is useless, so if we tell him to learn, he'll can probably <laughs> learn. Okay, yeah, why not? <laughs> his name is Reese. Reese is his name. Oh, the free wheeler guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves good shit. He's like all about that. He's been texting oh, me every day okay. since I did it. Like, to this day. Yeah, that's good. All right, the clear. Got the clear. Just gonna carry the wingsuit all the time now. No, it's because I went to bed like at the end of the event last night, and I I don't have somewhere to place it in my in my office, and I just came around now, so oh, I haven't okay. had time to put it off. Stand there. Yeah. Oh. What? Oh, turn, turn on the music. Up. I can't hear shit. Can you Coming up. from the speakers. Damn, what the fuck? That sounds so good. Damn, what the? That is so fucking sick. That sounds so fucking sick. That sounds so realistic. Damn. All right, Bob, we have to start Operation Pop in the club now, because we we ready to open this place. We just need to get it like going. We already had like, a crazy ass grand opening on Saturday, dumbass. Okay, but like, why are there no people here now? Just chilling, drink, having drinks. 
Jelly. I don't fucking know. People are asking exactly. to come to so that's what we gotta fix. This is sick, though. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, you wanna see a magic tip? Yeah. Check this out. I'm gonna make this Leslie disappear. Bye bye. Just kidding, I'm still here. Wait, what? <laughs> I thought you went to bed. No. Now I'm going to bed. Good night, gentlemen. Good night, Leslie. Yeah, this is really immersive. See, now you can just hang out at the club with some music in the background. Sick. Yeah, this is fucking really sick. Uh, this is really see, fucking good. Talk to Mickey or? Uh, he just texted me. He says he's going to have a nap and uh, he's going to call me later. I mean, I don't think he's going to like how the conversation is going to go because I'm not, like I said, I told him, I'm not looking to do the song and dance every other day. Right, right, yeah, I was just wondering. Uh, Ray called me, I'm guessing he called me, and then he called you, and you told him to talk to Cassie? Yeah, I don't like that people just try to call us directly for meetings. I like the system we have, you know? You call Cassie, mm -hmm. she renders the meeting, we have the meeting. Doesn't matter who you are. And that sounds so fucking good in there, Dean. Yeah, I, uh, that's what I think was missing yesterday. It was just like some ambient background noise, you know? Oh, 100%, yeah. It, was, it just felt dead. Fuck, that is so good. I make it sound I'm gonna take a nap soon. Let me know if you can meet. Do you wanna meet up to them? Do you wanna have this conversation? Oh, preview is ready. Hold on one second. Wait, what did you say? Uh, Maggie texted me says, I'm about to take a nap soon. Let me know if you want to meet. Oh, now? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Uh, it's up to you, honestly, if you want to talk to him now or not. I don't mind. Yeah, I mean, we can, yeah. Like I said, it's, uh, you know, I'm just straight up telling him, like, listen, Mickey, like this, you know, this is like oil and water for some reason. It's just not working. Mm -hmm. How's it looking, Stag? Take a guess. I found a way to put the barrels even higher. Hey, stack. Yeah, I can wow. see. So yeah, how do how do we uh out. how do we uh you know? Jesus Christ. How do we uh you know? Oh, check this out, Dean, over here. I mean, it's where you have to walk in sideways, looking through your eyes. Okay. Hold on. Can't do you it. Can't rush it. You gotta, you gotta take some steps. You gotta walk and then. Um, I think you should hit the gym. I'm too fat. I go sideways. <laughs> that works. Oh, too. there we go. <laughs> so the first two barrels are gonna be blocking. You're gonna have shit in them, and then the rest. Oh, of them this, are... this is perfect. This is fucking perfect, Stag. Okay. Okay. This is fucking perfect, Stag. And then yeah, it's just a direct Very line tight. to it. Yeah, and then thankfully I figured how to put the barrels up so high. So uh, if anyone were to come in here and in particular stand on this bench or one of the barrels, you wouldn't That's be a able table. to uh, stand on this table. I, if you look over there, it still looks like there's barrels over there. No, nah, this you're a, you're a fucking madman. This is insanely well done. Oh yeah, this is sick. Good shit. Good shit, Staggy Waggy. 
Yep, now we have direct access. You have so much fucking So how many barrels right? actually block the path? Uh, in total, it's like, uh, it's two full one and then two to four empty. It, it just gotcha. depends. Okay. I can change it. I can also make it wider if sidestepping's uh, difficult. No, no, no. I like that it's difficult like this. I like it. This is perfect. This is actually perfect. You're a fucking legend, Stang. You're a fucking legend. Fuck legend. yeah. Dude, when someone walks in and randomly picks up that one barrel, But it, that's why it's good that it's hard to get through it, you know? Yeah. Hello. Now, where do you want to meet, Mickey? Uh, I mean, wherever's easiest for you. Uh, I mean, you just come to Server Center. Okay, I'll be there. Goodbye. All right, see you there. Bye-bye. Are you okay, buddy? Suku, how'd you how'd you hurt your paw, buddy? Let me check on Zuka real quick, chat. One second. Lang, Dean. McKay. <sighs> well, you already know that immediately after then quitting, even despite the fact that I was arguing leniency, being unsuspended, of course, I, in a frail moment, then quit uh, as a result of my own overinflated ego from selling so much wine. And now, of course, uh, I come here today uh, regretting that decision. That being said, I don't actually expect to be rehired. Um, if anything, I wanted to apologize because in hindsight, what I did was wrong. And I don't think in this entire operation, I've treated it as seriously as you all have wanted me to. I do think in the last few days, I did start to take things more seriously. Uh, I think the numbers can account for that. But at the, at the end of the day, that's just the number wine right making money there which is not even you know the start of this operation so uh i don't necessarily need to be rehired or anything else i just wanted to apologize and i do love selling wine guys that's the truth that i found in all of this okay i know you love selling wine but i think you hate the fact that i'm your boss in this if i'm being honest I think that's something I have to come to terms with or would have to come to terms with. Yeah, like I told you, like, 
I'm always gonna love you, my boy. We're always gonna do dumb shit together. But, but business, I do everything tremendously different. And if there's a system in place, there's a system in place. For what it's worth, I actually really like how you do business. Um, yeah, I think I was just being a petty, ego-driven uh, pussy. E I mean, sh sure, yeah, but uh, it's uh, if I can't rely on you to one listen to me and then two have a conversation as to why you chose not to listen to me uh, i just can't rely on you for anything like this this is only wine like we haven't done shit yet i need to be able to be like hey mickey i need you to go pick up this van bring it here and i need to have full trust that you'll listen and do that and not take 17 different pit stops and then you have 30 cops on you with a fucking van full of heroin And like, so, and you know, with yesterday, I asked you not to fly there because the event was literally, you know, in the sky and we didn't want to give it any sort of, uh, you know, hint as to what it was going to be. And which was fine. I didn't listen. That wasn't even really the big problem. The big problem is I tried to talk to you about it and you just, just flat out ignored me, walked away. And it's just like, how can I work with somebody like that? If you were yeah. like anybody else, I would have shot your ass right there. I told you to go fuck, find a new job if you survived. Yeah, I realize that anyone else would have probably been killed by you over that. Trust me, I <clears throat> see how you you actually kill people over stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, I was always going to run this operation very differently. It's not going to be like ski. It's not going to be, you know, any, it's not going to be weed runs. It's not going to be any of that. Like We're actually trying to build uh, something with some longevity here. And there's a lot of moving pieces. And I need to be able to rely on everybody who's moving them. I feel like when I am reliable, I'm very reliable and I do things well, but I know I kind of, uh, uh, I'm eccentric and erratic at times. I think you're easily distracted and you persuade yourself things are a very good idea. And then you end up with 17 cops chasing you on a helicopter. <laughs> Yeah, that does sound like my uh like that it's is it it's hard to you know as someone like that it's hard to fall in line you know right and then it's not a fault of yours it's just a, a trait right yeah i really do think like if we're the best of friends outside of business when it comes to business i truly believe we're oil and water I mean, I can't necessarily disagree. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been trying. I've been trying, Mickey. I, I tried so hard. And uh, I see where you're coming from on some points. But at the end of the day, I, I told you from the, be the very beginning, months before this even started, that I I'm ri running this operation the way I see fit. And if you don't like it, you don't have to be involved. You, you really don't. That's why I told you that yesterday. It I'm not forcing you to be here if you don't like the way I'm running things. And a lot of people are going to feel that way. And that's because, you know, maybe they're just not cut out for this shit. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a wine business, sure. But, you know, we're selling heroin. This ain't no corporate fucking normal job. There's a reason why I'm being as harsh. It's not even just to you. You should see the shit I give to my security team constantly. Because this shit I is not a it. joke. And, and risk is at an all-time high. I understand. Well, I'm trying to understand that. And I, if I could, I would want to do it and do it in that way more seriously and actually approach this as seriously as I can. I don't think you will enjoy it, though, because you love, uh, you're a very, uh, what's the word? You're all about the excitement and having fun. You love like, you know, very lavish, uh, you know, very, uh, what's the word, extravagant shit. And this is not going to be that all the time. Well, it, I mean, it can be when you're selling wine, but I don't, Mickey, I don't understand. I don't know if you recognize when it's time to switch from that to, hey, I really need a favor. I need help. Be discreet. Don't fly a helicopter. You know, that kind of shit. 
like, do you, can you, can you make that switch? Like, is that possible for you? I'm saying today in the most serval way I can that I really want to try to do that. That being said, I don't expect that from you all. And I realize that, you know, again, the fact that I'm not even, you know, rotting in the ground right now is already because of favoritism towards me. Well, it's not favoritism. You're my fucking brother, you dumbass. Well, I don't show you any favoritism brother. in business. Yeah, not favoritism. The fact that, you know, you literally wouldn't kill me because I'm your brother. Yeah, like, like I've always tried to explain to you, business, me when I do business, there's a reason why I don't call Tony, I don't call Ray, I don't call anybody from the boys until I'm ready to do dumb shit. Because the way I handle business, a lot of people just are not cut out for it, if I'm being honest. It's the same thing with me and Tony, you know, for years we tried doing business together, we just didn't mix. And now Tony does his own thing, I do my own thing, and we're ready to come together and do the shit that we both like doing, we do it together. And that's just the way it is. I and still I want... I still want to try to do this business with you all, but again, this is a decision that you guys will have to make. You don't necessarily have to make it right now. If you want to make it now, that's fine. Uh, I don't think the decision will be made now. Uh, Leslie will definitely have to be here for this, but also I don't know. Uh, at some point, we're just going to have to stop, like I told you on the phone, you know, this, this dance. I understand you know? that. Uh, I'm already extremely busy, and I, I can't be getting distracted by this shit, if I'm being honest. I'm not trying to be rude, but it's just the reality. In a business like this, you have to worry about, you know, the wine, the marmalade, managing different people, managing operations, this, that, and the third. And I'm only one small part of this operation. I understand that. And so I can see why it would be... I mean, you were, you were a big part. That's why you've, yeah. I give you shit all the time. You, you were a big part yeah. in the operation, which is why I need you to, needed you to kind of understand that and take it as seriously as we were. For the first week of this, every day, I was like, where the fuck is Mickey? We need to set him up as head of sales and marketing every single day. You're a big part of this operation. The, only, the truth is, the only thing you do is you step on your own toes, you know? Yeah, I realize I'm my own worst enemy in this. Uh, well, I don't think you're your own worst enemy. I think sometimes we, have, we just have to take a step back and really dissect the fact that I just think you enjoy being like the crazy Mickey that you are. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with that. But I want to expand past that. I don't want to just be that. Um, I mean, I don't, you know, Mickey, you know, I've always wanted to do uh, this shit for me since the beginning. And, and, you know, I still do. But at the same time, I, I got to think of the consideration, you know, what is better moving forward? And I don't know that yet, so. Yeah, I think that's fair. That's that, you know, there's no denying. I, I truly, in my heart, feel like you are the best at what you do and nobody comes close. But that doesn't mean you aren't replaceable. When it comes to business, by the way, I'm talking strictly business here. Right. I mean, as <clears throat> even if I am the greatest salesman in Los Santos, which I am, you definitely are. Uh, I will give you that credit. You, you can definitely easily are. You all it takes is two people who are even, you know, half as good as me to replace me. Yeah, I mean, let's be real. I give one call to AJ. Boom, I got 80% of what you are. Okay, right let's not. Let's, okay, AJ actually probably is better than me. I forgot about it. Nah, I would say he's about 80%. I truly believe, I truly believe you're the best salesman I've ever met in the city. I truly do believe that. That is why I think you are so valuable. But it, when it comes to business, I feel like I just can't rely on you. And I feel like sometimes when I'm trying to be a hard ass, you take it the wrong way. Then I feel guilty because then I let my emotions of you being my boy slip into my business. And I'm never usually like that. And that's when it starts giving me problems where I'm like, okay, I have one of my best friends in business with me who I can't be his boss because he's my boy. And yesterday I was, I was just not having it when he called me. Yeah. And again, I think the most important thing from this whole meeting is I apologize for that. As a friend, I apologize to you for that. I mean, that. listen, I don't, I don't take it personally. 
when it comes to business, I, I take nothing personally. Uh, for me, I just realized that it's just, it might just be oil and water. It might just be something that we set out to do together. And, you know, life, you know, not everything you always want to do is going to work or, you know, go how you, you know, you want it to go. Right. So it might just be one of those situations. Well, I will respect whatever outcome you all decide. Even if you bring me back on board, if it's at some sort of lower position, or even if you start making me work in the fields again and work from the ground up, I'll accept whatever you all decide. Well, we'll, uh, you know, we'll talk to Leslie and we'll keep in touch. All right. I do appreciate the apology, though. We shouldn't have to give it. I didn't take it personally. Also, I sold another couple hundred thousand dollars of wine at the event yesterday. Good yeah, job. Yeah, I know. Good job. But sometimes, you know, there's uh, setting up uh, principles and how things work is way more important than money at the end of the day. I agree, actually. I don't think my... Like, look at Kyrie Irving, you know? One of the most skilled basketball players the world has ever seen. But I would never want him on my team because you cannot work with that guy. You are Kyrie Irving, Mickey. You once carried LeBron James to a championship. As long as I'm not Russell Westbrook, I'll, down. you know, listen, as long as I'm not Westbrook, I'll, I'm okay with that. No, no, no. no, no. You're, you're actually good at what you do. I am. Anyways, I appreciate the meeting. Um, Imagine being I, the only person in the world who can say they carried LeBron James to a championship. That's you, Mickey. Well, if you think about it, right, during ski, Mickey was that Kyrie Irving. But now he left oh the team God, and right. he went to the Nets. And then that's when I turned into Kevin Durant. Oh and I needed God. Mickey to listen to me, but he just became completely unreliable. Think about it. Now you have two Fuck. very skilled players, some of the, arguably some of the best players in the NBA, who can't figure out how to work together. Will they fall apart and never win a championship? Or will they figure it out and destroy the entire league for years to come? Well, I know you guys need to talk to Leslie about this. Um, Think about it, Mickey. Right? You were free one down, and now it's free free. There's less than a minute left on the clock. You're one point behind. Do you go for the free pointer? Because Kyrie did. And it wasn't LeBron. Yeah, but LeBron dropped like 45 points that game. And uh, yeah, but anyways, um, yeah, listen, we'll talk to Leslie. But uh, like I said, Mickey, I don't know what's going to happen. I will accept whatever decision you all come to. All right. Just know I love you. And this is business, please. I understand. All right. Thank you, Mickey. Mickey. Goodbye. What do you think, Dean? I just can't believe the Warriors lost that year. That's fucking bullshit. Yeah, well, that's what that's what happens when you play, uh, you know, the greatest basketball player to ever live. So I won't go that far. I mean, Kyrie's good, but he's not the best. I'm talking about LeBron. All right. Oh, all right, I got you. Yeah. All right. So, what do you think, though? This is the thing, Mickey. He's the best salesman in the world because he wanks his think about hiring him five minutes after we say we're not going to hire him again. Wait, say that again? <laughs> this is why he's the best salesperson. We came into this meeting like, oil and water, we can't hire you. And he fucking sold himself to us again, and now we're considering it. Yeah, I'm not, listen, I'm not joking. Like, I'm not exaggerating when I say Mickey is the best at what he does when it comes to selling shit to people. Like, I'm not joking when I say that. It yeah. is scary good. Yeah, I'm, I'm Team Mickey right now, honestly. Like, I, I'm happy to bring him back on and give him another <laughs> chance. But I know rationally that just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um, honestly, it's the thing for me, it's like, I'm trying, my emotions keep trying to come in to my judgment, and that makes me a terrible business person if I allow it. 
Exactly. That's but the problem if, here. If we were playing baseball, he'd have three strikes, right? We only had two. Really, Dean? <laughs> what if he hits a homer, a walk-off home run? What if he does? You never know. Listen, Dean, Le Leslie one is going to freak out, and two, he's not wrong. It's like me and Mickey are in a relationship where it's bad for each other, but we can't leave each other's side. When, I, when I'm talking business, by the way, okay, I want to clarify this is business. Outside of business, right. Nick, Mickey's literally one of my, probably my best friend. When it That's comes to friend. like being, you know, doing dumb shit, you know what I mean? I'm going to tell Speedy you said that. Yeah, I mean, Speedy's my best friend, like, in the overall, but Mickey, in terms of like, uh, you know, like recent, who's there now, it's definitely Mickey when it comes to dumb shit. Gotcha, gotcha. Just like how you are for me in business. That's it. For me, it's like I'm, I'm sold. Like, I understand Leslie's going to have an issue because maybe he sees you and Mickey. But I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with, like, after that conversation again, I'm, I'm okay, one more chance, right? But that's just Mickey. He just knows how to sell himself. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, I can't, like, I know that I should not rehire him. That's just the reality. That, 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 that is the reality. That, that is the correct choice. Unfortunately. I mean, how many spins on roulette have you done? Just think of Mickey as a spin on roulette. It could uh, hit 21. Yeah, but that's the thing. It never hit 21, and it put me in the worst position I've ever been in my entire life. But it felt so good. Moment, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I know. I already know what the right choice is, and it's not to hire him. That's just reality. But I don't know what to do. We'll sleep on it and talk to Leslie. Well, it's just one of those things where it's like, I mean, you should have seen. Look, I'm not trying to rag on Mickey, but you should have seen it. You know, I approached him, and he just straight up ignored me. Oh my god. If it wasn't Mickey and somebody was giving me that sort of uh, reaction when they work for me, oh my God, you bet your ass I would have fucking killed that cocksucker right then and fucking there. You have no idea how fucking much it pissed me off. And then tries to call me an hour later like nothing happened. So what you're saying is yesterday he landed on a 35. Today the ball's spinning and it could be a 21. Yeah, but it's very unlikely. But there's a chance. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, Dean. I really don't know, Dean. It's all right. I, 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 think, I think we all know what the right decision is. We'll sleep on it. We'll forget that we were just dazzled by Mickey. We'll talk to Leslie and we'll see you. See what happens. Yeah, I think that's the best course of action. Oh, another thing as well. I need to... I need to speak to Bane. You know what? I'll give, I'll give Mickey credit for one thing. Is he's one of the only people that will just come and say sorry. In the whole city. Oh, Mickey's always the kind of guy where uh, he will make his faults. A lot of people don't do that. Mickey will always do it. That's why I love him. I can't take Except when it comes to Raymond, but yeah. Got text from Marlo. He goes, so this, <laughs> Mickey's such a good salesman. Uh, okay. Where do I buy wine glasses? Mickey sold me five bottles with no fucking wine glasses. He can sell the wine without the glass. Yeah, well, like I said, he's good at what he does. Who runs here on wine? Forgot. Well, I mean, me, Dean. No, I mean, like day to day. So who would who would he get glasses from? I uh, can call up Stag. You can call up Eve. You can call up Sally. You can call up uh, Art Art Arturo Arturo. I mean, we can go grab some glasses too. I don't mind. Oh, I just sent a bunch of names straight out. All right. But yeah, I don't know. We'll think about it, I guess. But uh, yeah, I, like I said, I already know what the right choice is. It's just a matter yeah, of just uh, sleep on it, honestly. Yeah. Because you might just wake up thinking, yeah, that's that's a stupid idea.
Hey Gunner, how you doing? Did I oh. save? What did I save that guy's okay, number right. as? Soon. I saved yeah. it as something random, so if cops ever found my phone, they won't know who he was. So what did I save it as? It's like material. Was it, was it materials? Oh yeah, it was. Uh, when are you crafting the wingsuit thing? I can do it right now. Let's go do it now. Fine. can do it right now. 36. Okay. 36? Okay. Oh, the car's in the parking garage. I don't know if anyone can sell wine to break even while making sell a shit ton of for profit. Well, like I said, Mickey is the best at doing that. Like he he really is. And it's not because he's good at it. It's because he's willing to put in an absurd amount of passion into it that makes people want to buy it. I don't know if that makes sense. Because anybody can sell anything, especially in a virtual reality world, but, oh. but nobody matches like the passion that Mickey does. Drawing on that end. Like not even laying. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> All right. Um, how much is the conversion? One point seven. Oh, from shit, McLaren. Okay. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not flush right now. That's a problem. I mean, I could take a loan for it, I guess. Yeah. Are Cleo Sean yeah, Raymond kind of, dating? Uh, cleared out my wallet, that one, dude. That's just rumors. So that's just rumors. I don't think that's the real price I paid. Okay, yeah. Yeah, why not? Oh yeah, go the full uh full bit. Yeah, and make sure people know, you know, it's not about the money at the end of the day. All right, I'll, I'll let you know uh, by tomorrow the latest when I can do it. All right. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what did you say, sir? Hey, Hola. Speedy. Hola, my friend. You actually uh, came back. back. Yes, sir. Yeah, of course I did. And sometimes I do it, but I don't. I normally just say I'll be back and then, you know, it's like the Terminator. Be back like another day, I guess. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't blame you for it. I get it when you get high, you know, I'm the same fucking way. But uh, listen, yeah, I'm going to meet up in yeah. a little bit. I just got to make a... Wait. Just got to drop some yeah, shit yeah. off for one of my employees and then we can meet up. Okay, yeah, do your thing. Just give me a call, Aniguchi. Uh, I'm going to take I'll give you a call, call like 15. I, yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. I'll, um, I'll give you a call tomorrow or give me a call when you wake up. Don't tell me it's fucking lagging, dude. Oh, God, please don't lag while I have to craft fucking 37 fucking wingsuits, man. Thank you.
Hey, Dean, go, Dean, go through these in the trunk of the car. Dean? Fuck you, Dean. Uh, sorry, what? what was that? Yeah, sorry, can sorry. you hold, hold on to these? Yeah. How many? Uh, that's 15 right there. Jeez. Put me in the storage. Now hold on to him. We gotta bring him to Nancy. Yeah, I mean, instead of putting it on the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Should I call Nancy to bring like um, a bison or something? Tell her to meet us at the comedy club and I'm going to call security to fucking watch her drop these off because these are expensive. Five, ten, fifteen, we have thirty, gotta make seven more, six, five. I lost count. I'm full. You got more room on you, Dean? No, I have to, uh, I'm using the storage. Are you calling security? Yeah, I'm gonna call. We should wait here until they get done. Some slime. Hey, Zay, get a couple of guys to go to uh, the club. Uh, I'm going to be dropping off like 37 wingsuits to Nancy. They're going to be expensive. So I want you guys to, uh, you know, help her uh, make sure she distributes these with no problems, okay? All right, sounds good. All right. See you there. Bye bye. Right, later. I'm going to go check these ones in the car, Dean, all right? Oh, they, we're meeting them at the club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want to show them. Gonna transport I don't want to show them this place here. Do you have room to carry more or no? No, nah, not ready. Make sure you lock this up. Oh my god, you got so much shit in here already. Alright. And hey Nancy, can you meet us at the club for all these? You're only carrying two at a time? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Get like a ranger or a bison. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-six. Dude, can it stop lagging? Thank you, man. Jesus. Oh my god. I'm gonna lo I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. R twenty one, yeah, sorry, Chaz. Just gonna make four more, that's all I know. Thank you. Jesus. Fuck. I got all of them, I think. I was going to make four more. Make five just in case I'm miscounted. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six. How many you got there, Dean? Yeah, throw them in there. <clears throat> Do 
Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 37. Okay, we made one extra. That's fine. Is that all of them? Yep, let's go. I just grab my shit. Alright. Nowhere in sight. Uh, go to the surface center, please. Uh, pick CBC? up my car, so yeah, you can pick up my car, so Nancy can borrow it while she's transporting all this shit. Yeah, pick up uh, the Aston. I'll just give her or whatever car. I'll give her the keys of this one. Okay, yeah. I was gonna it's get already all in the back, right? What would be cool? Why? Uh, if we, uh, you know, those huge planes where you can stand in the back of them, oh, and then you fuck. open it up. Yeah. What if we sell like a experience to like twenty people and everyone jumps out at the same time? That would be so fucking sick. He goes right. Balance Mambo. Alright, I see you at the club. Oh, wait. Let's fall in love. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, Nancy, I'm going to give Bye -bye. you the keys, uh, and then we don't need. Uh, I guess there's enough security to find. Nancy, it's all in the trunk here, okay? I want you just to roll some security guys, because this is like a lot of fucking money in the bank. Yes, sir. Oh, you guys should have keys now? Hey, you. Uh, I just want you guys to help her. Uh, she's gonna go and uh, distribute these for people who bought them. This is like one point, like two million dollars yeah. in the trunk of this car right now. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. So a game, boys. A game. Um, right? yeah, we just had some more orders come through. Are you gonna be able to make more today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just let me know how okay. many more you need, and I'll make more. Okay, Nancy. Sounds good. I'm gonna get these all dropped off. All right, perfect. Uh, comment when you guys are all good. Easy, boys. I love having. I love the security team so fucking mm -hmm. much. Y'all got fucking class twos, a fucking active fucking group of guys. It's fucking good. Yeah, not bad. They're all hands on deck, so.
I need to go to the bank. I got to pay uh, Pablo. Also, uh, next account meeting, we got to kind of uh, come to an, uh, some sort of agreement on how much we're paying uh, the security team, Dean. Are we still not paying them? <laughs> no, we haven't paid them shit. Jesus Christ, okay. So I think we decide like on a weekly payment and maybe throw in like a, you know, like a, a nice little bonus on top for all the payments we haven't made. Yeah. I mean, we got them suits, right? That's cool. Yeah. Um, 14 All right, so we're at 680, uh, 680 profit. <clears throat> But that's gonna go all right back into materials, though. To be to be honest. Hola, Mr. Lang. Hey, Pablo. I just sent you the payment. Uh, I'm gonna need that order as soon as you can, as well. All right. Uh, I, I need the buffer it's... though on. Um, I think it was steel. Okay. I'm running real it's low on much, steel. It's pretty much done. I just need like probably like 3,000 more refined steel. Everything else is done though. Aluminum and copper. All right. I'll be probably, uh, let's, let's make that deal for tomorrow then. I got, I got still some left over probably to cover for the rest of today, but uh, I could imagine us running out today. So tomorrow we can make another deal. Oh yeah. I got you. I told you, Pablo. I'm the only one that's going to be buying as much from you, motherfucker. <laughs> I know like two days later too. All right. Well, I'll get the grind on this week then. All right. Uh, but just let's just remember though right uh, this is kind of like a hype period so a lot of people are gonna be buying the shit we got to sell it, it will slow down eventually but for right now we're just in a hype but it, uh, i think it is going to plateau at some point no no it will it will everybody gets excited off of everything but uh, no i understand business that's fine we'll all right hell now. yeah all right uh just double check your account make sure you got the payment uh, give me a text if you got it as well all right cc thank you mr lang all right pablo thank you my man appreciate you bye-bye bye-bye Ah, oh, some of my favorite customers. How are oh, we doing? Oh, shut the That's fuck up, Scruffy. You're lucky. I love the food here. I'm, uh, I'm doing well, Mr. Watson. How are you? Pretty good. How was your event yesterday? I was in the title. How's it going, Mr. Lang? Oh, it's actually really good. What's going on, guys? I'll take a murder. I'll take sold two murder tickets, meals, please. Sold out of merchandise. Can't okay. ask for better. Any preferences? Ah, uh, not really. No. Hello? No one hey, Emperor. Do you have any G&E &E I can you know, buy? Do you know, I, I look like I race or boost, Lando? I have also, 28 genie. That's all I have. Oh, Jesus Christ. Never mind. We got a bunch of yeah, call like Goofy or Kitty or Tony. They probably got thousands. Yeah, every time I call Emperor Tony, he says, Yeah, I'm right. I'll let you know. And then he never has any. Yeah, Tony is the most mysterious man on the planet. Always doing these things, but never has anything. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. Well, you go, never mind. Bye-bye. On the counter. Could you let me back around the counter, please? I need to get back to work here. Excuse I me, got sir. to see this shit how some employees willing to work here. Congratulations. Let's go, Dean. Excuse me, Mr. Lang. Could I talk to you for a second? Uh, yeah. What's up? Uh, I don't know if you know me. My name's Shivy. Uh, I'm part of Royal Mafia. I heard that there was a bit of an issue between Mr. Lando and one of my brothers. Just wanted to make sure everything, I guess, is squared away. Or if there's any problems, you know, if there's anything we can do to try to make it right. Uh, I mean, we're all good for right now, but we'll probably be calling you guys soon, yeah. Okay, that's cool. All right. Yeah, no worries. All right, my man. But, uh, you know, keep a handle on your boys. Make sure they, you know... Watch out who you guys fuck with. Mm -hmm. All right, take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Oh, I just wrapped up, wrapped up deal of the century. My, my fellow businessmen, don't do murder eat a burger. All right, shut all the right. fuck up, Scruffy. Shut the fuck up. It's a beautiful day outside. So I just secured the rights to Cerberus 2 for a million dollars. So that should be good for us. 
being we're not paying a million dollars for these motherfuckers it's a beautiful day outside guys we are not paying a million dollars for these guys dean i will leave servers if we do that oh what I can have Cerberus 2 out there on the streets. No, no, no. We're already suing the fuck out of them. I will literally leave Cerberus if we pay these guys. I'm not setting that precedent oh. at all. Next week, they'll make a Cerberus 3, then a 4, then a 5, then a 6. Okay, fair enough. What if we now go buy Cerberus 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 at City Hall? Um, Dean. Listen, Dean. I know you love watching me be broke, but I ain't trying to fucking waste money on useless shit. That's this the name Severus 2 is kind of like kinda of have to have it. No, we don't. We're gonna sue the fuck out of these motherfuckers, alright? Okay, alright, fair enough. All right, we got any other business today? No, I think that's it. I think so, anyway. I don't know. Here's the thing, right, Lang? If we try to sue them, right? There could be some awkward twist of fate where the judge rules with them, and then we have to give them the Cerberus name. Um, Dean, I refuse. I do not give a shit. We are not paying Scruffy a fucking million dollars. All right, all right. I thought that was just an easy way to wrap it up. That's all. I'd rather take that and put it on 21. Be nice, a fucking tower with like a sniper around it. You know what I mean? Hey, Spiri, what you yeah. doing, bitch? Hola. I'm just talking with Pablo to say, I just got down about you. I will come pick you up. Where you at? I'm at the barrio. At the barrio. Okay, be there soon. Bye bye. Hi. Right. Bye bye. Doing variety today? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. The fuck you mean, put the like? Yeah, that's what I mean. Just go put some, you know, go talk with him, see what's up with him. All I got one second, I'm smoking. I have a good day. Uh, speedy. Uh, hola, Speedy. Oh, hola, Speedy. Oh, in the phone call, maybe bang. Hello? Yeah, what's up? Hey, let's do it. Do what? Uh, the shit with Eddie, right? Oh, the, the, the ketamine shit? Yeah, I start setting up for that. But what I want to do, Bane, is for the first few weeks, I want to do nothing but uh, food transports. That's it. The cops going to be all over it. We let it die down. Oh, no, then we 100%. start fucking taking out the ketamine. Yeah, no, 100%. That's good. That's perfect. That's honestly how most things are going here. Kind of just need to test the waters. And once it goes smoothly, then you start getting the uh the real shit in yeah yeah yeah. how are things in there looking right now uh it's been kind of like our last phone call i <laughs> really been coming around too much i really don't have any i don't have that like drive anymore if that makes sense no i feel you uh i'm still working on what you requested of me but uh you know i'll let you know if anything comes out yeah no just let me know because i i want to be useful to you but i also just have been it, it, I it, it, hey, it, listen, I don't blame you. Jail is born as fuck. All right. I do not yeah. blame you. Yeah. It is, it's called jail for a fucking reason. It's not meant to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> all right. But, uh, you know, I'm working on it. All right. And I'll keep you updated on it. All right. Thank you. I right, love you, man. Love you too. Bye bye. Dean, is there any way we can get Bane and Jimmy out of jail? I don't fucking know. This guy's been in there, been locked up for like over what? Like fucking 20 years now. You know what I mean? It's fucking crazy to me. 
I told you guys, man. Bane cool. wants you know out I mean? so fucking badly. He wants out so fucking badly. And this guy is such a good fucking guy. He's such a good guy. He's got life in prison. Hey, Nancy. Well, you know, give him a spoon. You know what I mean? A spoon. And let's say, you know, he needs to dig for 100 years. You know, then he'd be out. I he need you to say again, Speedy was talking. Hmm. Do we want people to sign a liability waiver when they buy a wig suit line? Uh, nah. It's not our responsibility. Nah. We're just selling a product. We're not inciting maybe anything. Just, maybe just hand off like a pamphlet with it on there or some shit. I don't know. Don't need to worry about the signatures. All right. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. Bye -bye. Hey, you know what I want to... When is the last time I've been to jail? I feel like I haven't gone to jail in so long. Is there a way to check that? Maybe two weeks? Three weeks? It's been like two weeks now. Oh, that is pretty sick. Bro, you guys hear this fucking case? They fucking me so hard, boys. Why? Telling you, like, apparently, you know, my ranch is uh, at this close of Dan Faley. Like, he can go and open it and close it and stuff, you know? They can't tell me when my, I get my ranch back or anything. Fucking put those, man. Damn. Are you the happy? judges have no idea. So how long Murphy? can they, uh... Yeah, did you speak to Murphy yet, Spinny? Uh, I spoke with Murphy, I spoke with judge, uh, judges, and basically, you know, they have no idea. They just be like, well, you know, Dan Fale is handling it, that's it. Interesting. But I'm not wanted or anything, and I got a rape receipt, so, you know. <laughs> well, at least you got a receipt. Ah, you know, I got it yes, last night for the my raid and another raid, but they didn't find mm. shit. Yeah, I'm sure some <laughs> uh, pushed to the docket, I guess, at some point. I don't know. Well, you know, it did say on the docket that they found a secret room with a bench inside of it, but I don't know what the fuck they're talking oh, is about. Was it on the docket already? Yes. You mean the raid, raid receipt? The, the raid receipt. So that's it, you know, that's, that's it. Yeah, you blow everyone up. But, you know, that takes a long time and experience. Yeah, plus we need extra materials. Well, we have it. Apparently, I met the right guy. Because <laughs> I was just getting high speaking with Mickey about blowing up a nuke. And he, and he started laughing out of nowhere. I'm like, what's going on? And he's like, I can get you fucking pla platinum. Uranium? Uranium, yeah, 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 yeah. Who said that? Mickey. Mickey? Kinda cool, right? Yeah, I mean, we're looking at it as well. Guys, is there any way to check the last time I've been arrested? I don't know. Ask your cop? Yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, man. You know, that's kinda cool, right? Yeah, let's just build nuclear bombs. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it, man. Why not? It is the best, you know. Best in a money maker. Nuclear bombs are the best money maker. Well, you know, if you got a nuke, you can demand whatever, right? True, Why would true. you? That's what I mean. Like you get your demand, and my demand is to fix the Oscar investigator. And that's it, you know. And then you know, at the end, just blow it up anyway. It's not a nuclear collapse. It's just bombs or anything. Yeah, yeah. Like we're smart enough. How are we smart enough to have a blast that withstands a nuclear bomb? What? I, what the fuck are you talking about, bro? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You know, they've been doing nuclear bombs since 1940s. Like, of course, they got fucking bunkers that... Uh, oh, like... we're just going to go find a random bunker. What the fuck are you talking about? Random bunker? Have you seen the actual bunker here? How do you know it's nuclear proof, though? It's literally fucking, like, nuclear silos on it. Really? Uh, really? Yes. The Damn. bunker, you know? It's got nuclear silos on it, on the top at least. By the, what the is it? By the lighthouse. Well, just give us a heads up if you. So, are you going to? Are you going to? When are you going to court, Speedy? Well, uh, probably at uh, fifty-nine days. <laughs> There's been no moving on that. Nope. 
Really? All I got told was, you know, don't blow people up with grenade. Meanwhile. Is there, is there anything on the docket, so at least? No. It's just a raid warrant. I mean, raid result, I guess. And that's it. And it... It says they found a secret room with a bench inside that, where it can produce... Uzi, MAC-10, uh, bullet, and lockpick. Jesus. Yeah, but that's but, such a gray area, though, because you can argue, like, what do you mean it can't produce? Those are just blueprints I had. Well, that's the thing. Or photos, uh, you know what I mean? How do you say it can produce? You can really just make a gun out of, you know, as long as you have the parts, right? Well, that's the problem, though, because the whole thing is I'm going with the denier, right? The, the room. I never knew about the room, right? Because if I'm going to start, be like, well, you know, it's my thing, but how can you, like, you know what I mean? Then we kind of make myself guilty, like, I am the one producing, correct? No, 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 because you're Did forgetting. Did Murphy say go with the denial route So, well? Murphy uh, read the warrant and stuff, and he said, you know, they fucked up, like, everything. Because they are, they're lying. They said that uh, they saw it was me and stuff there, but they didn't, never identified me as shit. So they already, like, lied two, three times on the warrant itself. So he said we got a very no, good but that, But that's the thing, right? It's, I think the cops are misconceptualizing this bench, because the reality is, is if they wanted to nailed you for producing that they need more evidence than just these blueprints they can't just be like oh we found a bench of blueprints he makes guns yeah, now is there a very cool, obvious yeah. possibility of that of course there is but that's where you need the evidence to back that up and you know i'm going to exactly. assume they have nothing what, what do they have that you produced any sort of guns if i have a blueprint of how to make an ak you know post it up on my wall in my house i don't know if i can go to jail for that well here is the part boys when this comes to court I'm going to show every place in the city. What I mean is, have you guys been to the gun shops here? The blueprints are everywhere, bro. They're just fucking out there. You can make Uzi's, Kalashinkos, M4s. It's all out there. Like, e every gun shop, every store have a blueprint on it. So, you know, the thing is, you know, like, I, I didn't go to fucking school. I'm only 19, I'm telling you. I, I didn't go to school out of fucking building. Baby. <laughs> Come on, bro. We're 19 on paper, right? They don't know this. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? If I didn't go to school, how the fuck would I build something? <laughs> More like 19 decades, baby. Jesus Christ. Fuck, it says you, man. You got the goddamn fucking man bun already, buddy. <laughs> In 19, eh? <laughs> Did you just... Did you just... Is that your argument, Speedy? What? What? <laughs> what I can't argument? go to school. I don't know how to build something. Listen, the whole argument is I gotta play dumb, right? And believe it or not, in this city, <laughs> being a dumb motherfucker actually works out <laughs> for the most of the time, you know? Yeah, but you, right? can't go to, you can't go to court, Speedy, and be like, listen, I never went to school, so that's proof well, that I don't you know, know how to build shit. No, it's not fucking proof. It's just like you add a profile to your case. You get me? When they question you, you'll be like, I didn't go to school. You know what I mean? You, like please, fucking Trump. Please let Murphy leave this one, Speedy, please. <laughs> yeah, Speedy, let least... your lawyer do the talking, okay? What the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> Stay clean 58 days, puto? Like, what? you know how hard it is? <laughs> you know how that is, boys? What am I supposed to do with my life? Fucking like nothing. You know what I mean? Be a ghost no, listen, in the listen, no, no, I get it. I get it. First of all, uh, they should be they should be putting something on the docket at this point. And if they're if they're not, then what the fuck are they doing? It, it makes no sense. But the reality of the situation is, um, 